abortion <laughs> is now illegal in the state of Alabama, a state in which abortion should be mandatory. We don't need babies from Alabama. <laughs> Mandatory abortions. Let's fucking give them a taste of their own medicine, right? None of your favorite people are from Alabama. Most people born in Alabama grow up to be people that live in Alabama. If all the people ever born in Alabama were aborted, you wouldn't know any different. Helen Keller. Perfect abortion. Oh, 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 this is the sound I make when I want the person next to me to think I'm a good person. Oh, oh. It's too soon for the Helen Keller jokes in here, really. Is it? It's the fucking PC world bullshit that we live in? What? Do what? Tease kids with special needs. She, didn't, she, she was blind and deaf. Yeah, you know she's dead, right? Are you aware of this? Oh, okay. Do you know that if she was alive and in this showroom here tonight, she would have no idea what I just said about her? And yet you're offended? You're not gonna survive the rest of this show, lady. I promise you that. Let me save you some time. Yeah, let me save you some time. You're gonna hate me. Yeah, just go now. Just get out now. All the Justin Timberlake, all the cute shit, that's all done. I tried to warn you early on in this. It's all over now. It's the dark side now. And I'm telling you, I'm warning you, you cannot handle it. I'm opening with this joke. This abortion thing is my opening joke. This Helen Keller thing is the first chapter. This is the, this is the, this is still like the intro. This is like the, this is the foreword from the author. I'm truly just beginning and you're losing your fucking mind right now. Look at yourself. How dare I what? Do not stop her. I'm calling off all security. Until I say coconut cream pie, don't say another fucking word to her. Oh, there she goes. Remember, I kicked you out. This wasn't your choice. I told you to leave. I told you, you couldn't handle me. What? Shut up, I can't hear her. Well, why don't you do it anymore? You got sick of those dumb bastards? How dare all of them enjoy themselves out at a comedy show? You're right, you miserable fucking wretch. Later. I feel bad for that guy. That must be her fucking one friend in the world. That poor guy. Probably works at a fucking department store she was at. Tried to be nice. Hey, you want to see a comedy show? A friendly gay guy. Then she snaps right out of it on a Helen Keller joke of all things. I mean, even I can't believe that I have a Helen Keller part of an abortion joke. And she snapped. This is a new thing, people. If you're wondering, like, oh, that must happen all the time. No. And it only happens in the places where it shouldn't happen. Like Dallas, Texas. You would think you would think that shit happens in L.A. where someone just fucking loses their mind. I took care of special needs and that's what it really is, isn't it? Isn't it really? You ever notice that the people that have to make a scene, the people that get offended the most are the ones that have an opportunity to brag about some good shit that they've done in their lives? You ever notice that? She didn't, she didn't not mention that she worked with special needs kids twice. Two of the three things that she said tonight were I worked with special needs kids. 
wait till you hear where we go from here. And when we when we get there, when when we get there throughout this entire show, I'm not even going to reference it again. But I want you to think one part throughout this whole thing. I want you to remember. I want you to think throughout the whole performance tonight. What would that lady have done at this part? <laughs> Helen Keller, perfect fucking abortion. Mandatory abortions for the state of Alabama. <laughs> That's what the fuck we're talking about. We're still there. I'm not done yet. 